Hello, this is Richard. I'd like to welcome you to my Facebook page, which is Speaking Fluently. And this is a place I use to talk with people and to interact with people who are interested in learning languages and uh, who maybe have a specific question. For me, as um, someone who's been through the process a number of times, and uh, also to find out more about other people who learn languages, you know, I, one of the main reasons why I started putting things out there on YouTube and on the internet was to find other people who really like languages the same as me and um, and it's been so far it's been fantastic because I've met some really great people okay so this video I wanted to just go through a couple of things I'd um, seen come appearing on my um, on my Facebook page and um, there's a couple of things I have written back about um, already but there's one that I thought it was worth making a video about and that was this question that I put to people that read this page and that was you know what people's New Year's resolutions are for 2012 now the question was obviously thrown back to me too um, and I wanted to answer it because this for me is important uh, it is important for a few reasons the first one is that I think that people don't uh, have the need to put any extra pressure on themselves than is potentially already there anyway naturally so my first thing would be is to set yourself realistic goals so I always do that myself I try and set myself realistic goals I don't want to beat myself up about something if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen I would certainly um, just say okay there'll be other opportunities and I uh, look at it that way really so that would be my first thing to say just to preface all of this now when I say realistic goals I mean things that you're likely to achieve so you know, saying for example I'm gonna learn Mandarin Chinese in a year well okay you might do but it's a very very big goal to set yourself so potentially you know I, I was hoping to make a good start on Mandarin Chinese last year when I uh, got to New Year and then actually things didn't work out that way I, I think my, my my work uh, situation changed um, the situation I was in at home changed and I didn't have access to a native speaker and so many things happened that um, it just became an untenable uh, thing for me but what happened instead was I got to go to Poland and I got to learn some Polish and I've now started learning Turkish so there are so many positives that came out of that uh, that I would definitely look on it as, as something that I would want to continue for the following year. So the concrete things that I would like to do would be uh, to carry on with my Turkish and take it up to um, a B1 level by the start of the summer and then uh, carry on then in the autumn. Uh, and then in the summer what I'd like to do is um, I'm maintaining my Polish at the moment at say a an A2, B1 level and I'd like to take that further to a, a solid B2 I'd say, uh, possibly C1 so that's that's my goal for the summer and then on top of that uh, I've got a few other little bits and bobs that I'd like to keep ticking away uh, such as my study of Hebrew um, and then otherwise really it's keeping on top of the languages that I've, I've been studying all my life uh, I never really stop uh, it's it's just the thing that I love to do. So I hope this was an interesting and useful video and I hope that it gives you inspiration to to learn. Please do drop by on the Speaking Fluently website on um, Facebook or on the blog and uh, share with me you know what you uh, plan to do and if you've got any questions uh, for me or for anyone else who's uh, you know kind enough to join me in the discussions on these pages. Um, also on Twitter, um, at Speaking Fluently, which is Speaking Fluently just without the G at the end of speaking. It's purely because uh, it wouldn't let me put the whole thing in as a Twitter name. So um, I look forward to, to hearing from more people and um, from uh, the great contacts that have uh, already come out of, of setting up these sites. Thank you and good luck with your learning and happy new year.